welcome back to my youtube channel and this time i really mean welcome back because i think it's been six months since i posted on youtube yeah six whole months and low-key like i'm disappointed in myself because i've been off youtube for that long and i really really missed it especially in recent times i was like looking through my youtube videos and i was like oh, why did i stop like i think with me i have like a really addictive personality meaning that like when i get invested in one thing i will really really focus on one thing and that happened with instagram and i was really heavily focusing on instagram but this lockdown has really made me pull back and realize that i really kind of have to prioritize a multiple things at once and this week new routine have already started filming lockdown vlog and yeah i'm basically so excited to be doing this q a super out of my comfort zone but i do feel like i've like warmed up to the camera um this time off has really made me like realize how much i miss just like sitting down and talking to you guys and it's weird because i never thought i would be the type of person to be able to do this but here i am and i like love it i literally love it anyway i'm just gonna jump straight into it you guys ask some juicy questions and i'm gonna be answering them okay so one of the questions i got asked is what is the hardest thing about content creation really i can do a whole ass youtube video on this so if you guys are interested in that topic please sign me up to make a youtube video on it because i will be talking forever um i personally have struggled with a lot over the last like year and a half but the main thing i would say is persevering regardless of how the numbers are and like how your views are doing and it's really hard not to measure your self-worth by a number of views, likes, and comments. And I know you guys have probably heard that quite a bit of times, but dude, I felt that recently. Like I have felt so bogged down because I've been seeing like stuff on social media, which is literally like the most brain dead content, which is like literally like no shade to people making this content, but I don't think they even know they're making content. Like it's the most dumbest thing point being the dumbest content goes viral and then you look at your content and you look at the hours you're putting in the time you're putting in the effort the thought the skill the money let's not even go into that but like the money you've invested into proper decent lighting equipment cameras blah 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 blah, blah and everything right and then you put this video up after you've spent hours and hours on it and it doesn't respond the way you want it to um, and I think comparison has been the hardest thing that I've personally dealt with and that is like my own issue. I compare myself to other people and it really, really bogs me down. Like I feel like that's the hardest thing when I'm sitting there looking at the numbers and I'm like, oh my God, but this person got like this many views and then I just feel really shit about myself and it's something I'm working on and I've actually improved quite a bit in that department, but I have a long way to go. Like. I think when you're so heavily invested in something, you expect return. And I'm not saying like I want to go viral overnight. People who go viral overnight, great for them. But I do feel like the persistence and hard work that I've that I am putting in will be rewarded at some point. So I kind of just keep telling myself that. And yeah, so basically I feel like the hardest thing has been dealing with the numbers when your videos don't perform well and also not comparing yourself to others. Okay, I'm gonna answer the questions on that topic. So someone said, firstly, you look flawless. Thank you so much. The question is, have you ever burnt out? And if you have, how did you get up? Yes, I think that's what happened with YouTube. I wouldn't say I burnt out, but I felt like I was constantly doing something to do with content on every platform and I was struggling. Like I was trying to get up two videos a week. I was trying to post daily on Instagram and I was struggling. Like it was really, really hard. I did burn out and yes, basically I've experienced burnout and I think it's not happened once, it's happened a few times, but I just picked myself back up. And the thing is what keeps me motivated is literally my love for this whole content creation beauty makeup all this stuff is like my life like i love it and i've been asked this question before like i was this is like really vulnerable but i was having a conversation with my mom and there was a point where i was like do i just do want to go back to a nine to five like what why am i doing this if it's not and like 
see that conversation makes me like so emotional because i'm so heavily invested in this emotionally i love it so much like i truly feel like i found my passion in life and it's really hard to explain but i know like not everyone finds their passion in life people get like um just graduate pick a career get stuck into it and then that's it and i just feel like there's bigger things out there for me and i know this is like oversharing but yeah like i just I'm so motivated and I'm so passionate about what I do and like no one can take that away from you at present like every time I feel like shit I would just wake up the next day try film something snap out of it because it's like when you want something bad enough the excuses are not strong enough to get in the way of your goal and I think that's that's how I'm perceiving it like I could make an excuse and say like the, my videos aren't always performing well why am i bothering with this and then quit but i just love it too much to quit and i feel like i'd be losing more losing out on more by quitting what apps do you use to edit your videos they are amazing thank you so much um i have been through a lot of apps okay if you want to use your video on this please let me know because i will create it okay this is like a side note guys but i'm thinking of doing like a webinar like a um, a little workshop, online workshop that goes through like content creation, like everything to do with reels, all you need to know, um, like what apps to use, how to film your videos, how to get optimal lighting, like everything that I've tried and tested and spent so much time and money researching, I can give to you guys. So if you guys are interested in a workshop on something like that, please let me know because I would be more than happy to do that. But to answer your question, I use uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. It is a desktop app. I edit on my PC. I don't edit on my phone anymore. I know that a lot of people do edit on their phone. So if you are editing on your phone, I would recommend Splice. Um, that is a paid app as well. But if you are creating some kind of consistent video content, I would recommend that because you can actually do a lot with it. Like you can add effects, you can add music, you can add, you can add sound effects, you can obviously clip transitions, you can even do like green screens and stuff. So it's actually really, really, really capable. So I would recommend Splice if you're on your phone. Um, but a starting app, which is cheaper for PC, is Filmora. And I know a lot of creators who use Filmora. I used Filmora for like six months. So the start of my content creation journey when I switched to my um, computer editing was all done on Wondershare Filmora. It's a really, really, really capable app. It's very user friendly. You, it's not overwhelming. So um, I would recommend if you're going from phone to PC to start off with Filmora because it's really, really, really good. And it's not scary. Those are the apps I use. I use Premiere Pro right now and I feel like it is the best. And if you want something which does the job and does everything you need on a computer, Filmora. And if you want something on your phone, Splice. Hope that helps. Not a question, but I'm so in awe of you. You are doing incredible and are so, so inspiring. Thank you so much. You don't know how much this means to me. It feels weird accepting like such a big compliment because I honestly do not see myself as someone that people should look up to and like feel inspired by but this is like really really sweet so thank you so much a little more juicy how did you and your part partner meet and the next one is ever thought of moving in with your boyfriend so i'm going to answer these ones together um firstly me and my boyfriend met like when we were in high school um well i was actually no we were both in high school we knew each other through like mutual friends and stuff like everyone just knew everyone and um the first time we actually met in person we obviously knew each other through social media facebook facebook was a shit back in the day and um we met up at the library not intentionally but basically um i was there for like a glasses appointment and then one of my boyfriend's friends who i was friends with um i bumped into him at the shops and i had half an hour to my appointment and then um he was like oh why don't you just come sit with us in the library to your appointment i was like okay cool and like literally there was nothing that's the first time we met in person but like there was like nothing um happening there like we were literally just friends like we weren't even friends at that point we were just acquaintances who met for the first time after high school 
he's a year older than me so I graduated and then um, we met up and then um, we were like oh we actually do like each other but we were actually like truly so we just friends like we there was nothing more between us for like the longest time and then after high school I was like oh but I always thought he was like super cute so I was like oh okay basically I thought he was really cute and I was like but like not interested in like a relationship that ma if that makes sense I, I didn't really like envision a relationship we were just like friends and then after that yeah we here this is our sixth year oh my god I feel like I'm oversharing but like it's too late now this video is being filmed <laughs> I have ever thought of moving in with your boyfriend um okay so to answer this uh obviously yes like I would love to move in with my boyfriend but not right now like it's not for any other reason but we just like both want to be like financially stable and like ready and comfortable to move in like um relationship wise i'd say we would be totally fine with moving in with each other but like more like financially and like long term like we would prefer to just like settle down when we're ready so probably realistically after marriage the thing is it's not like i'm saying we need to get married to move out or anything um nothing like that but it's just we live five minutes from each other this is like something that truly contributes to the fact that we haven't like dwelled on the thought of moving out it's because we live five minutes from each other so yeah literally i can just jump in my car and go see him and like it's like distance isn't a problem like we go and walk together he literally will come over like my family loves him and everything and like yeah so we're like really like chill with each other like i think there's like no um rush to move in together but we wouldn't mind but we would also not mind waiting till after we're married so i i think that was like a really really vague answer but yeah if you had to choose between never wearing makeup again or never having pasta again what would you choose sis never having pasta again <laughs> okay so i love pasta okay but i love makeup so much makeup is my life um and i don't think i could ever leave that so yeah not having pasta ever again what do you do outside of social media basically now i'm doing um content creation and taking makeup clients as my job and then content creation full time um and i have really like been focusing on pushing that out what kept you motivated in the beginning to keep putting in so much effort and what inspired you to start this instagram page so I'm going to answer those two with this, but basically when I started, I was not posting content. So if you guys are bothered enough to scroll all the way down to the bottom of my feed, you will see that it will be all um, client photos and me posting um, pictures of people's makeup I did. And that's literally like what it was for the longest time. I was just documenting my work and then i would post here and there videos like i would like film because i loved it i actually did love it back in the day and my biggest regret is not starting earlier like with content like i really wish i had like put my foot down um five years ago and started creating content because things would have been so different but that's okay like i can't look back into the past and i'm grateful for the experiences that i've had but um yeah like i started doing clients and posting that and then here and there i would like do a look for halloween or do a makeup on myself and take a picture of it and post it and it was so casual and chill um in 2020 lockdown so when we first went into lockdown ever when covid first became a thing i started posting content on instagram during that lockdown because i was working from home as well and i was like oh i actually really like this let me start making makeup videos again and i don't know where my passion for this just ignited like it just blew up um and i was like i love this so much and i just i was doing so much of it as soon as um like i finished my work day i would start filming and editing a video in lockdown and then get that up and then it was so cute because i actually got such a nice response from the people who were following me who are following me but people who were following me back then as well it was really really kind of them to support me and push me at that time yeah to think about it now i look back at that even the content i was posting a year ago and i'm like oh my god i was such a baby but i guess that's like the whole point of documenting the whole process like to see your growth what kept me motivated in the beginning to put in so much effort literally just me having a bit more time and like me 
having the constant drive to improve like I don't want to sound like I'm tooting my own horn or anything like I'm not boasting or anything like I don't want to come off like that but um, I just genuinely just wanted to keep improving like every time I would post a video I would look at it and be like oh the lighting is so gross in that video I'm gonna do this to improve it in the next one um, and then that was like one thing and then like even my makeup I'm like I kept like criticizing my makeup and I'm like no I don't like how it looks in this photo because doing makeup for the camera versus doing makeup for real life are two completely different things like literally your makeup can look flawless in real life but a camera picks up everything yeah so yeah that's that's basically it like I just wanted to keep improving at that time and that's what kept me motivated like I didn't give a shit about the numbers thinking about it now I didn't even look at how many comments I used to get I didn't look at how many views I used to get and sometimes I look back and I'm like oh my god I miss the days where I actually didn't give a shit like I was just doing whatever I wanted where do I see myself in a few years time to be honest I don't really know as of now I, I know that I want to be doing this properly full-time and like living out my dreams with this being my main career and my main source of income I would love to be like still doing clients here and there but I, I would prefer to like have this as my main source of income um, content creation and like YouTube and Instagram I just love it so much and I feel like even like teaching um, classes and things like that and the possibilities are endless and I just hope it all kind of falls in place and I will continue working hard I don't know this is like really vulnerable this is just me sharing like like literally where I see myself but obviously like married and settled down as well in my personal life that would be nice in a few years oh my god this question a oh, funniest worst client experience I'm scared to tell this story on camera, but I want to. Can I tell this story in another YouTube video, like a story time, please? It would be so good. Like, it's so dramatic. It's actually such a dramatic story. This person was a psycho. And I'm not even worried that they're going to see this because um, they blocked me. Long story short, this one person is just like the one really bad client experience i've had ever every one of my clients has been a gem but like about four three no not four three years ago i had this lady who was can i please go into depth in another youtube video let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to answer that question in a story time because yo i have a lot to say about that topic i've told this story so many times it's so funny like when my friends ask me what's your worst client experience I have no shame in telling this story because I went through some shit. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you guys want to see that video. Do you purchase every jewel set you shoot with? They are insanely gorgeous. Thank you so much. No, I don't purchase all of them. It is mostly always a collab. Um, I have, I'm really thankful, but I work with some really, really talented jewelry vendors who live really close by to me and who I've had the privilege to be associated with. So um, before lockdown, I had uh, one of my jewelry vendors give me um, a huge box of jewelry for me to work with. And they were just like, take this, do whatever you want with it during lockdown. So it was really, really sweet of them. And yeah, that's kind of where I've been getting all my jewelry for my looks from. No way I would have such a beautiful collection myself. Like the, some of the pieces are insane. Like I just can't, I love jewelry. Like I love Indian jewelry. There's just something about it, which is so unique and breathtaking. Um, and I'm so grateful that I get to work with all these vendors. So whenever I use a jewelry set, I will always tag it in my videos and I would always put hashtag collab, hashtag gifted, Okay, I've already been recording this video for like 40 minutes, so I think I'm going to wrap it up. If you guys want me to do a part two, if you enjoy this in any way, if you got to know me a little bit, I'm grateful and I'm really happy. But let me know in the comments down below if you want a part two. If you have any juicy topics or video ideas, please, please, please send them to me because now I have a lot more time and I'm here to film YouTube videos. I really enjoy doing it. So yeah, I'm really, really motivated and excited and whatever you guys want to see i'm here to deliver so let me know in the comment section down below and thank you so much for watching guys please subscribe to my channel it's been a while since i've said this but yes it would really really mean the world if you can subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye